Hello, I'm Ritesh and welcome to DancingWithData.com. So I dance with data and, and I'm first in the world to be Tableau Ambassador and Power BI Super user. While this is the site where I blog, I have another site where I create my courses. LearnWithRitesh.Graphy.com Log in now to access many free courses over there. So LearnWithRitesh.Graphy.com Nahi to nahi milegi, maafi tumko. Today we are going to learn about uh, Dynamics on Visibility and I'm going to follow a blog by Priyanka Tobal. So we'll have five different uh, use cases uh, with five different videos. So this will be like a series of small, small videos. But then what dynamic zone visibility is? As you know that you, you have used parameters, you use parameter to make your dashboard more dynamic. Now we are making the zone dynamic as well. The horizontal layout, the vertical layout. So when we say zone, we are talking about that zone. So, so that means that you are going to control the visibility of the layouts. And for that, a field or parameter must be Boolean. So it's all about you want to show or you don't want to show. Single value, independent of the width. That means the field returns a constant value. So it will be independent of the visualization. The first use case that we are going to solve today is swapping worksheet. Right. While you might have done this using parameter in the past, but then you always have that issue where you face difficulty with hiding the title. Now you can overcome by using dynamic zone visibility. Now that's pretty cool. In order to understand dynamic zone visibility, it is important for you to understand the horizontal, vertical, the layout part. I will paste the layout video at the description. So if you are new to that, I would recommend you to go through that first. Or if you're already aware, then it's fine. It will not be like a beginner level tablet video for sure. I will also post this blog at my description, but remember there are certain, like in this case, it should have been integer, not string parameter. So be careful about that. But in the video, we'll, we will uh, mention, or we have already mentioned actually. So the best way to understand is to do, right? Uh, the best way to learn is to do. So let's go to the Tableau workshop. So that's what we want to achieve. So we have parameter and we are selecting sheets over there, sales over time sales by category and subcategory and we have maintained the title as well that is very important so first of all it is very important for you to understand that both the video should be under one container so it is under vertical container one at the top of the other otherwise it won't work so ensure that you have properly arranged the visual under the layout or inside the layout i think we'll have to put this again inside the layout because we need to create the parameters so of we'll go to that very particular visual and try to create the parameter first so that we can give the option to the end user to select either of the visual. So first of all, let's create a parameter. So I go there and create a parameter, right? So I get the, okay, from data type as integer. Name is, uh, so I have to give the name as uh, select for sheet swap. I would like to turn this to a list and the values will be one and display it. Remember that in the blog it is written as string over there, which is not correct. So just keep a note of the same. Now let's say, okay. So our parameter is set now. Now we need to bring parameter. We need to, you know, show parameter and we need to go back to in class one, uh, remove it for a while and uh, we need to go to the dashboard and bring it again inside because uh, now we want that parameter there as well. We check again once that this is under the vertical container, so we are good. Now let us go and set the title as the parameter value that you have with you. So here you go. I apply that. Uh, right now we are we have not selected this one, so you see blank over there. But if I go to one A and uh, try insert the same parameter at the title there insert yeah so that's what we want actually right that's 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 what use and i go back to over in class one right so if this is selected then you should show only this one that part, part is left but at least you can see the title is working so we don't have to hide the title as we were doing earlier for now, we should not be seeing the, the lower visual over there. So that's where the dynamic zone visibility will come in to the picture. Now we'll have to write one calculation for each value in the parameter. And for that, I need to go back to one of the sheets over there 
and there are two simple calculations as you can see first one where I said the parameter that you created is equal to 1 remember this is for the category and subcategory the second one is 1 half true and false sheet sheet swap 1b and here it says that okay when the value is equal to 2 then this is true right so remember that what I'm talking about over here these are the parameters so if it is 2 and you have to select over time if it is one then you have to select by category and subcategory so that's the logic right so now the the point to understand over here is as you have already learned parameter right now in this case this parameter will regulate the visual appearance and disappearance right so that means this parameter will control the visibility now how you can do that now that's the new feature that we are talking about now I say okay and say okay I go back to dashboard and I say that okay this should be true when that parameter value should be is equal to 1 right so now you can control the visibility you go there samples first row and you select 1a now similarly the second one right and for a while if I just go back to category and subcategory we have to do the same thing for the other one as well and I say control visibility when the samples first store 1b is equal to 1 2 in this case right so it will be visible only when we pick this one and it will be visible when we pick this one so for now you can see we have picked this one so that is visible now if i go to select over time the time select over time visual will be the heat map will be visible keeping the titles intact right select by category so that's the beauty of this one which you could not do with the previous approach for sure so I hope this video made some sense. The relevant workbook uh, also is there at the description. So you can even download it. What more you would like to have. So this is Ritesh and it's uh, towards the end of this. I would like to remind you that if you are liking my videos, this is the time to subscribe to my channel. Do check my contact content, uh, the valuable content in an organized way at my website learnwithritesh.graphy.com See you, Tata. Bye-bye. It's from Dancing with Jada.